right so good morning all so myself nazir husain so today we are going to discuss about uh, how to use this uh, 8086 microprocessor kit available in a uh, microprocessor and interfacing lab so let us see what are the equipment we need to take so first of all we require a processor kit so and then we require a power supply adapter so since a processor kit works with a 5 volts adapter so we have to give 5 volts supply using this adapter and we require a physical keyboard to enter the program so into this microprocessor kit now let us see how to connect so please uh, the the main thing is uh, we need to handle these kits uh, very carefully because if any one pin gets damaged and we cannot able to interface that again so this is how the kit looks and we are having a lcd display and there is a interfacing port available here for connecting this physical keyboard so and make sure that uh, this physical key should actually connected very slowly and properly otherwise e- if one pin gets broken and we won't be able to use this keyboard again so there are pins and a particular key setup is there which marks that this is a inserting point so in that way we need to slowly insert this component to this keyboard to the kit and now coming to the power supply adapter now we are having a power supply from this adapter this is connected to 220 230 220 volts ac and from this we are going to connect a, a 5 volt to this now that's it so this is the interfacing setup of 8086 microprocessor trainer kit in microprocessors and interfacing lab now let's just uh, turn on the kits and we are having a switch over here at the back of the adapter to turn this on so if you just turn this on so we'll find the kit turning on and it shows us a so esa 86 e monitor version 3 and we are dealing with 8086 process and in which mode we are programming to this board is using keyboard so this one represents kbd is you know this is called a, we are typing the program into this kit or we are dumping the program into this kit by manually entering the code using physical keyboard so this is how the connection setup of 8086 microprocessor kit happens in this lab now so let me give you a few commands which are very much helpful and which are going to be used in this processor lab now how to access this kit using this physical keyboard how to type the program and all so let us see that right so let us see the commands which are very useful in uh, dealing with this uh, processor kit now see to enter any program so in this processor kit first thing is we need to select a so memory location so what is a memory location which is selected for typing this program so we can access from 2000 h memory location to so 9000 memory 9000 h memory location so in between these two memory locations we can select any of the locations for uh, typing the program so so the available memory for us to type the program is 2000 h to 9000 h so we should not go less than 2000 h for writing any program or greater than 9000 h for writing any programs now with that the first thing is to select any memory location so we need to type the command called capital a space memory location or memory address at which we want to type the program so what happens if you enter this command for example i have given a space 3000 and i press enter what happens means uh, the processor kit enters into this 3000 memory location now 
means this 3000 memory location is selected as a location from which we are going to type the program now let us see the command how it is working in the kit now see so we are typing capital a space so memory location you can take 2000 or 3000 i, I have written and if you press enter so if you can see it enters into means it has selected the starting address for the program as 3000 h so in the same way so after selecting the memory location we are going to type the entire program for example let us say move al comma 0 5 and move bl comma 0 4 add al comma bl and int 0 3 so let us type this a small program and see so so i'm since the selection has been made at the location of 3000 h now if any previous data is available at that location that can be shown on the screen of a lcd line see at the location of 3000 h we are having adc space al comma 00 so we need not to bother about the existing data but the selection of a memory location can be done using a space memory address command and then you just start typing the program and it gets overwritten for example now i am typing so move al comma 0 5 enter it goes to the next memory location after occupying of those opcodes related to the first one and second instruction move bl comma 0 4 and now the third one is a small operation called add al comma bl enter int 0 3 enter so these are the four instructions of the program which is very small the thing to be remembered is once the last instruction is done so you have to after pressing this enter we need to reset this kit so what happens if you reset means when you reset it actually stores the program in that memory location now it has been reset now it is into its initial position so how to see whether our program is stored or not so again the same command can be used so a space 3000 enter so what happens see the previously adc al something was there now the recent instructions which are typed have been stored onto these memory locations so if you just go by pressing enter it shows you all the instructions in a sequential way like second instruction is move bl comma 04 third instruction is add al comma bl and fourth instruction is int 03 right after successfully storing this program onto the processor memory now it's time to execute and check the result so how to execute this program is nothing but so there is one more command to be remembered which is called go command so it is indicated with a g so we need to type g space starting address of the program means what is the memory location selected for typing this program that address so for this program we have we have selected 3000 so 3000 is the starting address so to execute that program available in 3000 h memory location we need to type g space 3000 enter so just after doing this the program gets executed and all the contents of the registers will be displayed on the kit now let us see so now i am typing after reset so g space 3000 means starting address of the program enter so now the program has been executed all the contents of this a uh, this all the registers will be displayed here now if, if you see what is the program we have written we have written uh, by giving a data of al equals to 5 and bl equals to 4 so by adding this al and bl we used to get 9 and the results to be stored in al register if you observe here so 
this al content is already stored as 0 and why because the program has been executed and the result is stored in al so this is how we used to use uh, go command for executing any program uh, typed on the particular memory location so we can also individually check these particular registers by using a small command called capital x so this capital x space a uh, register name register name we are having general purpose registers as a ax bx cx and dx registers for example if we know that a particular register is having a data if you want to check that you can directly check that so by simply pressing a reset and go for the command x space ax and just press enter it will display you the register content of that particular register so this is how we are going to use capital a command for selecting the memory location for typing the program and capital g command for executing that particular program g space starting address of the program and to check the particular registers we are going to have a command called capital x space register name and it will display the contents of the registers now one more important command which is going to be used in this particular laboratory is yes command so this yes command is used to provide inputs to the program or else we can also say to edit any data in a, inside a memory location so it goes inside a particular memory location or it, it can go for a byte memory location or a word so this yes command is used for editing or for checking the data available in a particular memory location suppose if you want to check a data available in 4000 h now you can type s space 4000 enter it will take processor will take into this memory location 4000 and it will display you what byte data it is having or what is the data which is already stored in that memory location so capital a command is used to select the memory location for typing the program capital s command is used to edit or to check the data available inside the memory location for example in, in this program we have written uh, at the starting address of 3000 h now in this so let us uh, check one more time uh, already the program is stored here let us go for a space 3000 enter so the program is already there in this particular display you can see 0, 0, 0, 0, 3000 means 3000 is the memory location selected for typing this program now after that instruction what we have written move al comma 0, 05 so processor cannot understand these uh, instructions which are uh, directly written but it will convert that into its operational codes which are called op codes if you observe the third line of display b005 is the op converted op code means it is equivalent to move al comma 0, 05 in the view of processor if you write a b0 and 0, 05 it takes move al comma 0, 05 so now see so this is a program instruction we have written and this uh, this is the data which is stored in this memory location 3000 now if i want to see what is the data available inside a memory location 3000 what i need to do i have to go for so s space 3000 entered and it will show you what is the now in the entire program once you have written we need to copy this operational codes also like here so how to copy means that particular instruction move l comma 0 5 is taking b0 and 0 5 so opcodes to be written for this instruction is b0 comma 0 5 is the opcode similarly in the next instruction move bl comma 0 4 what is the opcode so it is b3 comma 0 4 and similarly third one add al comma bl what is the opcode for that 0 2 comma c3 and finally int 03 the opcode is cc 
so these are the op codes so which are actually understood by the processor so when you write this processor will consider this op codes and it perform the same operation what is required now how these op codes are stored like i said in the memory location 3000h from that location itself it starts storing these op codes storing these op codes into its memory location for example now a3000h means we see this instruction now if we type s3000 yes, what is available here let us see so just press reset i am using the command s yes, space 3000 enter the command uh, the data available in s3000 yes, is you can see here it is b0 means this op code is stored in 3000 memory location so in 3000 in 3000 we are having b0 now similarly if you want to check the next consequent data available in the memory you should not press enter here we have to go for a comma comma so comma if you press on the keyboard it goes to the next consequent location like 3001 the data available in 3001 is 05 similarly comma next location is b3 and similarly next one 04 and next one 02 next one 03 and cc so see how many memory locations it has taken for this program is so 3000 to 3006 memory locations so these memory locations are occupied for saving this program and that particular memory location will be having the op code equivalent to the instruction so this is the command to see to see the data available in the memory location suppose if you want to change the data in the memory location you can do the same just to go for s yes, 3000 or s yes, any memory location enter you directly start typing the data for example i want to rewrite this data with suppose 88 89 90 so i can do that by just press resetting and just go for s yes, space 3000 enter now it is showing us the data which is already available which is b0 so i want to rewrite that with 88 you can simply type 88 and if you want to stop doing that you can press enter to terminate this process this 88 will be stored or b0 will be overwritten by 88 suppose if you still having data to continue so you need to press comma it goes to the consequent location again you can give another data so previous data will be overwritten and it continues by pressing comma and giving data once the last data is entered and finally if you want to close this process and you can press enter on the keyboard it terminates that process the typed values will be stored there now let us check whether the data has been overwritten or not s is place 3000 enter now if you see the data is 88 89 90 this is how the data can be edited or the data can be seen inside a memory location of this particular kit and in this particularly there are two variations available if you want to check the data you can check it in the form of a byte format or else in the form of a word format how to see the byte data means so there is a command called sb space memory location for checking word there is a command called sw space memory location suppose for the same example i have written 88 89 90 in 3000 3001 3002 memory locations and 3003 is having already 04 now if i want to check byte data i can go for sb3000 it will show me what is the data available in 3000 suppose sb3000 2 it has to show me the data available in 3002 now let us see so whether it is showing that or not press reset sb space 3002 press enter 
सॉरी एस स्पेस थ्री थाउजेंड टू एंडर एंड एस डब्ल्यू स्पेस थ्री थाउजेंड एंडर नाउ सी इन एस डब्ल्यू आई एम गोइंग टू सी सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्ड फॉर्मेट दिस यस कमेंड इज बाई डिफॉल्ट इट शो यू अ बाइट फॉर्मेट एस बी इज यूज वेन वेन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन टू प्रोवाइड ओनली ए बाइट डेटा एंड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू चेक अ वर्ड डेटा डायरेक्टली सो सी एस डब्ल्यू स्पेस आई हैव गिवेन थ्री थाउजेंड इन थ्री थाउजेंड वॉट इज अ लोअर बाइट डेटा इट इज एटी एट अपर बाइट इज एटी नाइन द डेटा इज अरेंज इन दिस फैशन एटी नाइन एटी एट सो दिस इज लोअर एंड दिस इज हाइयर इन द सेम वे वी हैव सीन हियर सी एटी नाइन एंड एटी एट in the next two locations will be having 0490 here also next to four locations are 90 is the lower byte 04 is the higher byte so 0490 higher order and lower order this is how the variations in yes command can be used so yes be nothing but we can save or store data in terms of byte sw we can check data in the form of a word right thank you ma